surfs up SpongeBob. Hi, yeah! SpongeBob yelled as he launched towards Sandy with a mighty karate strike. Sandy easily blocked his attack. Nice try, SpongeBob, she said, chuckling. I think that's enough karate for today. SpongeBob nodded. Same time tomorrow? he asked eagerly. Sandy shook her head. No can do, SpongeBob. I'm going to be grabbing my stick and carving some barrels. Huh? SpongeBob asked. He had no idea what she just meant. I'm going surfing, Sandy explained. Wanna come? SpongeBob hesitated. Well, I don't know. You do know how to surf, don't you? Sandy asked, taking off her gloves. Well, sure, SpongeBob answered, his voice cracking a little. Great, Sandy said. I'll see you at Goolagoon tomorrow then. I hear there are going to be some epic, heavy, gnarly waves. Uh... Oh, my favorite kinds, said Spongebob, not sure what she meant. As soon as Sandy was gone, Spongebob cried. Oh, Gary, what am I going to do? I told Sandy I, told I knew how to surf, but I don't know how to surf. This is a disaster. Patrick heard Spongebob's cries and ran over. Don't worry, Spongebob, he said cheerfully. You may be a hoe, Dad, but I'm stoked to help you rip some tubes. Huh? SpongeBob asked Patrick. Patrick was as confusing as Sandy. You may be a beginner, but I'm excited to teach you to surf, Patrick explained. That was surfer talk. SpongeBob looked surprised. You know how to surf, Patrick? Patrick smiled. Of course I do. Why do you think I wore these cool surfer shorts all the time? Because they're the only pair you own? Exactly! Let's go! At Goo Lagoon, Patrick began SpongeBob's first lesson. The first thing you do is stand back! shouted Larry the Lobster. The big lifeguard set a groaning surfer down on the sand. Well, what happened? SpongeBob asked anxiously. Dude tried to catch a bomb but ended up getting drilled in the zone, Larry replied seriously. Huh? SpongeBob asked. He tried to surf a wave that was too big for him, Patrick explained. Trembling, Spongebob suggested, Maybe we should leave. Why? asked Patrick, puzzled. Are you scared? Spongebob put on a brave face. No, I just don't want to run into Sandy. Patrick shrugged. Okay, I can teach you right in your own yard. Back in Spongebob's yard, Patrick laid his surfboard on the sand. Okay, lie down on your stick, he said. Spongebob looked around. But I don't have a stick, Patrick. That's what we surfers call our boards, Patrick said. Oh, right, Spongebob said. He laid down on the surfboard like it was a bed. Good, said Patrick, except you're supposed to be on your stomach. Spongebob turned over. Next, Patrick showed him how to paddle out to a wave, pop up and stand on the board. After a while, Spongebob started to get the hang of standing up on the surfboard. I think I'm getting it, Patrick, he said excited. You're a great teacher. Patrick smiled. Now you just have to try it on a wave. Where'd we get a wave? Spongebob asked. Patrick thought for a moment, then he snapped his fingers. I know, Squidward's bathtub, come on. In Squidward's bathroom, Patrick called out directions. All right, now try to cut back toward the lip. Catch some air. When Squidward came home, he was a little upset. SpongeBob and Patrick spent the rest of the day cleaning up Squidward's flooded house. I just hope I'm ready to surf with Sandy tomorrow, SpongeBob said. Oh, you're ready, Patrick said encouragingly. Unless the waves are epic or gnarly or heavy or macking or- Patrick, SpongeBob interrupted. Do all those surf words mean huge? Pretty much, yeah. Patrick admitted. The next morning, SpongeBob got to Goo Lagoon early. The waves were gigantic. Maybe Sandy won't show up, he said hopefully. Just then, Sandy walked up. Ready to ride, SpongeBob? These waves are bigger than a Texas skyscraper. SpongeBob tried to look excited. You know it, Sandy. I'm stoked, 
he said brightly, then added to himself, I think... Surf's up, Sandy shouted as she charged into the water with her surfboard. Come on, SpongeBob, I can't wait to hang ten. Yes, Sandy, I also want to curl my toes over the front of my board, SpongeBob answered, proud to know what she was talking about. He took a deep breath and was about to follow Sandy when a surfer dragged himself out of the water. How is it out there? SpongeBob asked. Awesome, the surfer answered. And terrifying, SpongeBob gulped. Are you going back in? The surfer shook his head. Not happening, dude. Broke my board. As the surfer walked sadly away with his broken surfboard, SpongeBob got an idea. SpongeBob jumped up and down on his surfboard. If I break my board, then I can't go surfing, he thought. I'll be saved. But the surfboard didn't break. Hmm, this stick is tougher than I thought, Spongebob said, stomping hard. As he jumped, Spongebob looked out for cracks on his board. He didn't notice that his board had been slipped into the surf and that he was being carried out toward an enormous wave. If I could just jump hard enough, I can break this stupid surfboard, Spongebob said. He had no idea that he was riding the biggest wave to ever hit Goo Lagoon. Spongebob kicked the surfboard. He tried standing on his hands and pulling at the tip of the board. He punched, smacked, and whacked the board. But nothing worked. This was one tough surfboard. Finally, Spongebob gave up. I'll just have to tell Sandy the waves are too big for me, he said before looking up to see... A huge crowd on the beach, cheering for him. Sandy ran up to Spongebob. Sa Spongebob, that was fantastic. Nobody's ever win ridden a wave like that before. Ridden a wave? Spongebob asked, confused. You rode that humongous wave like a cowboy on a bunk in Brocco, Sandy said, grinning from ear to ear. I did? Spongebob asked. I mean, yeah, I did. Hooray for Spongebob, everyone shouted. Hooray for gnarly waves, Spongebob shouted back. The End